Mountbatten Brailler using the Mimic and the QWERTY keyboard. When you have charged your Mountbatten, you can unplug it and run it on the battery for up to 8 hours. The Mountbatten connects with an LCD display called the Mimic. It displays what is inputted on the Mountbatten keyboard on a 20 character by 4 line screen. A new Mimic comes without batteries to avoid any possible leakage. The battery compartment is on the bottom side of the unit. Flip it over and you will see a small Phillips screw. Unscrew it, lift the cover and place four AA batteries inside. Note that all the battery terminals face the same way. After putting the batteries inside, replace the cover and screw it back on. The main part of the Mimic is the screen. Right underneath it, there are three control buttons. On the left-hand side, under the Harpo logo, you see the combinations for push-button directions. For example, to scroll the text down, push the first button on the right. At the back of the Mimic, you also find the serial port for the Mimic's communication, the optional AC adapter jack, and the power switch. The Mimic connects to the mount baton through the included serial cable. You plug one end of the cable into the Mimic's serial port, while the other goes into the side serial port on the mount baton. Make sure you switch the Mimic on before you turn your mount baton on, otherwise you may receive an error message from the mount baton. A blinking cursor will appear in the top left corner of the Mimic's screen. Note that the Mimic is automatically on in the Learn mode. In the Advanced mode, you need to do Command M-I-M-I-C and Enter. The first characters will not appear on the screen until the Mount Batten user presses Space. When the screen gets filled up, the Mimic automatically scrolls the text to display the last words entered from the Mount Batten. When you want to read again what has been typed, you can scroll the text up or down by pressing the buttons 1 or 3 respectively on the Mimic. If you would like to bookmark a spot in the text, press and hold buttons 1 and 2 until you hear a beep. To move back to your bookmark, press button 2. To clear the Mimic's memory and have an empty screen, press buttons 1 and 3. The Mimic will ask you if you really want to do this and if you press buttons 1 and 3, it will delete all text from the memory. People that are not familiar with Braille can also communicate in writing with a blind person using a standard QWERTY keyboard. To begin a chat, the keyboard user enters the chat command. First press the escape key, then type CHAT and confirm the command by pressing the end key. You hear the mount baton announce back on, informing the user that he or she can begin the chat. When the QWERTY keyboard user wants to respond, they need to press F1. The mount baton says forward on. To switch back to the keyboard input, you need to press F2. Switching between the mount baton and the keyboard can also be done using the tab and back tab keys on the mount baton. Tab turns forward on, while back tab activates back on. With your Mimic on, the whole chat is also displayed on the screen. 